G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm gonna to be using the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro with Awesome Golf. We're actually gonna go out and play one of the courses. So we're gonna jump in today and we're gonna play Island Beach. And on Awesome Golf, they currently have four nine hole courses. I really wish they would expand on this feature. However, the courses are pretty good. We're gonna play nine holes. We'll go stroke play, individual. I'm not gonna have the shot shot countdown timer on and yet yeah, sure mulligan's decision time will do zero uh we'll do five seconds jump in and play now awesome golf does it a bit different you have circle tees which are going to give you less than 130 yards so if you can only hit wedges in your sim uh this is a good one we're just going to go in and play off the hexagon which are like the um the black markers essentially all right let's jump in and play Island Beach, and this looks very similar to, I don't know if any of you have played the, the games on Awesome Golf, but you've got to destroy those boats. It looks very similar to this course. So we've got a dog leg to the right, and just looking at where we've got to aim, we can aim down the right-hand side there. So let's just hit a driver. I haven't warmed up yet, so I probably should have warmed up. We are using the RPT balls today, and the RPT balls do work within Awesome Golf. You actually select which balls you're gonna use at the very start when you launch Awesome Golf. One thing to remember as well, I do have wind off the right there. Not a bad first drive, we'll take that. And that's gonna be down the fairway. Again, speed is a bit down. I've been battling this thumb injury. Um, I absolutely shredded uh, my thumb on a cheese grater. So it is just, um, it's not pretty at the moment. 122 yards to the pin. For me, this is just a gap wedge, but we are into the wind. I'm just gonna do a really easy pitching wedge then. Let's do a three quarter pitching wedge. Uh, didn't like it. A little bit of a, a miss shot there, but that's fine. It's not the Awesome Golf software, it is the actual rap Soto. Missed that one as well. Okay. No, that was a bad shot, so it'll pick that up. Of course it did. Come on, sit down. Okay. It always picks up the bad ones, right? That's gonna be a par on the first hole. Going on to the second, this is a par five, nice. You can skip those flyovers as well if you just tap on the screen. All right, let's bomb a drive down there. We are into the wind again. Oh, that would have been a good drive. Okay. We're away. Nice wide fairways at this course. Okay, 250 down the middle. And like I said, I am swinging it a bit slower today. I do have a bad thumb injury and uh, that's gonna leave us 320. So it's still a fair crack to this green. I'm not gonna be able to get there, but I'm still gonna hit three wood. Not a good strike, that'll be hooking. Oh, it didn't get it. We got lucky. It is actually missing quite a few shots. That was a nice swing. Okay, a little bit out to the right, but I hit that one good. It is drawing. That's, that's beautiful. It's gone as far as my driver. Okay. And that's going to leave us 52 yards into this pin. Into the wind slightly off the right. So... For any of you who've watched my Wedge Matrix video, I am gonna take my 60 degree and I have a 60 yard shot with my left arm being parallel. I only want this to go 52. We are kind of into the wind out of the right, so I'll aim a little bit right. Now, I know that goes 60. So if I take it to about there, that should go 50. So let's try and do that. Oh, I've hit it too far right, and a little bit long. 57 yards carry. It wasn't the best shot. I guess the good thing about this, though, 
is we get to test out the chipping. We've got 13 yards. I, I'm pretty sure you don't get a lot of run out on Awesome Golf. I still have to carry it a little bit longer than I, I think. In GS Pro, I'd just be thinking, right, carry this 13 feet in my sim room. I'm gonna try and carry this about 15 feet in my sim room. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is where sim golf is, uh, it's gonna be quite tough with the Ramp Soto. We'll do that again. Okay, registered that one. Oh, look how quick that stops. Okay, all right, we know for the future. In the future, you gotta hit those a bit harder. The good thing is that the Ramp Soto picked it up though using the Awesome Golf software. I have found the Awesome Golf software is a lot better with chipping um, than the actual Rapsodo software. And I know Awesome Golf and Rapsodo are working on updates to both of them to help with disconnects and also to help um, with misreads and no reads. So they are working hard on this. Right, 178. Let's take a seven iron. Oh, where's the wind? We're into the wind. Let's take a little easy six then. That's left. Pulled it left. Sit. Pretty good for distance. I just pulled it left. And that's going to be a par. Okay, on to the next hole. This is interesting. Where does this hole go? This must be a dog leg left. Par five. This is pretty cool. So I'm guessing this one you can either risk it. Oh no, you've still got to go. You've still got to go down this way. So it's just going to be a driver. That boat better watch out of the way. Oh, not a good swing. There will be no spin on that. I mean, the I'm interested to see the backspin number here. I have that about 1200 RPM. 14, so that's pretty good. I hit that so high on the face. And that's gonna leave us 305, so it's a long way. How far is it to actually carry the water? That's the hard thing, you can't really tell. The smart thing to do would be to lay up. I would love to know how far it is to carry the water. I wonder if I can zoom in somehow. I don't think I can. So I just kind of have to use those markers to go. It's about 255. So realistically, it's not worth it. So let's just lay up. Let's go 170, 180. Let's just do a punch six iron and lay up to that second island. Should be perfect. Lovely. All right, what's that gonna leave me? That is gonna leave me 130 dead into the wind though. So it's gonna play about 145. So I'm just gonna take a nine iron. Be good. Oh, it's got it going right. And long, look at that. Okay, not the worst shot. It was a bit to the right. And that's going to be a par on that hole. Onto the fifth, we've got a par four, so it's going to be driver. I'll try get the speed up a little bit here because I'm going to have to hit this quite hard to carry it. Wind off the left as well. Decent strike. Okay. And that's gonna leave us 179, wind off the left. So I will aim a little bit to the left. 179, let's just go punch six. A little controlled punch six, it's gonna cut on the wind. Cut now. Oh, it stayed dead straight. Okay, it's not a bad shot. It's pretty good. Okay, 192, we are slightly downhill and we're dead downwind. So I just wanna hit this about 180 yard. This is a tough, tough shot. It's gonna be a punch six again. 
So to me, right now, playing this, um, I was, I was kind of thinking about the Rapsodo software. Awesome Golf, far superior to the Rapsodo software. I love how you see the data, you get all the data that you want on screen. Uh, one thing I'd love to see is more courses with Awesome Golf. I think four is a minimum um, amount of courses. I'd love to see them expand on that library and almost open it up to other developers because you look at what GS Pro's done by opening up, being able to create courses to users and the course library's just blown up. I'd love to see something similar um, with the Awesome Golf app. I, and I know the Awesome Golf app is not really designed for uh, simulation play, course play, but to me, it is that good that, you know, it could be that as well. All right, let's hit a good six iron. That's right. Oh, that was a bad swing. Go, hit the bridge. Okay, it's going to be on the beach. And I think the one advantage that the Rapsodo software has at the moment is the number of courses because it has so many. But in saying that, playing the courses on the Rapsodo software, it isn't, it isn't really fun because they're not that good. All right, I'm plugged. So I don't know how this is going to affect it being plugged. I don't know the percentages that I have to play. All I know is it's 22 yards and I'm plugged lie. So I'm just going to play this about say 30 to 40 yards. Okay, that plug line definitely really affected that shot. And we're on the fringe. So we get to do chipping. All right, 11 yards. And this is gonna be interesting. This is really gonna be interesting. 11 yards, let's just do a normal chip shot. Okay, it didn't get it. We'll do that again. It had to think about it, but then it just didn't do it. 11 yards. A little bit higher that time. It got it. Okay. That's gonna be a bogey. Oh man, we need to start getting some birdies because uh, we're a couple over par now. Okay, 435. Oh, this is good. Let's do it. Let's go straight for the pin. I don't know if I can carry that, but especially today with my thumb, um, but I'll go for it. I'll, I'll try and swing at one. As long as my mangled thumb doesn't come apart when I try and hit this, it, um, it should be good. Okay, hit the roof. Was it worth it? It was, sit down. And I hit the roof on the garage but it was totally worth it because uh, we two putted for a birdie, lovely. And I have found when I try and absolutely kill one, um, I do tend to hit the roof. I do have standard ceiling heights in this house. I've got 2.7 meter ceiling, so they are quite low. And um, most of the time I get away with driver, but when I try and kill one and with my bad habits in my swing, I do tend to sometimes hit the roof. Okay, good news is it didn't really hurt my thumb that one, so that's good. Right, what have we got? A par five now, okay. I'm gonna have to try and hit a, a big drive again. Oh, that was a bad swing. It's a toe hook and that hurt my thumb. And I think I was potentially a little bit scared to hit the roof again. The indoor swing syndrome crept in. What's that gonna leave us? I picked up three wood without thinking. And yeah, um, let's try and do it. We are downwind, so let's have a crack. I am gonna need to hit this pretty good though, because to get it all the way there, I need to fly it about two. Let's aim a little bit right. We'll hedge our bets, aim a little bit right. And this should be, should be pretty good for distance, as long as I hit it good. Hit it good. Draw. Okay, it's not bad. Pretty good. Just gonna be on the fringe. And I guess this is good because it gives us a chance to do some chipping again. So I pretty much wanna carry this about 16 yards, I'd say. It's so hard to judge these shots when you've used a different software like uh, GS Pro. And now you get no, effectively, not a lot of rollout with these shots. 
go. Lovely. I'll take that. Okay, we're back to even, I think. That's a birdie, isn't it? That's a par five. Lovely. Going into the ninth. And the ninth's a par three. Okay. 146 yards. Dead downhill. Look at that. That is awesome. That's really cool. 74 feet. I wish they gave it to you in yards. So it's 122 yards to the pin. Wind kind of off the right. Let's just hit a gap wedge. I'll aim slightly right because the wind's going to bring it back. Come on. Be good. Oh, the wind just grabbed it. Look at that. Not bad for length, but uh, the wind just grabbed that. I love the physics. The in-game physics is so much better than the Rapsodo software. The ball hits, takes a bounce forward and spins back like it would. And the physics are very similar to GS Pro, how the ball actually reacts on the green. In GS Pro, I think the physics are a bit better when you do those short chip shots. In Awesome Golf, the greens seem to be quite slow. I can probably adjust that in the settings as well, I'm sure. I could make the greens a bit firmer. All right, guys, that is the Island Beach nine-hole course on the Awesome Golf software. Really fun course, and I love that ninth hole. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, let me know. If you've got any comments or questions, let me know down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.